Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Look for opportunities to increase sales. Now, what's our, what do I mean by opportunity? Well, that's something I actually learned working retail. I learned a lot there. And don't be surprised if Rom all of a sudden has a series of stores, retail stores across the country. I'm just saying, because I'll just say this real quick. This is kind of a tangent, but it's a reality with me. Y'all be surprised how many business ideas I got. Y'all be surprised. So, anyway, check it out. Look for opportunity. What are opportunities? Opportunities is a place that you can make money. Like, when you have a business, I don't get, I mean, unless you have a single sir, a single product business or a single service business, unless you have that, you always have opportunities. Like, say, okay, for example, say you have a type of business like a spa or something, and you offer several services. All right, and, you know, like a massage services or, uh, you know, facials. I don't know, whatever they do at spas. But then you got this one business, one part, this one service you offer, and, you know, whereas your other services might get several hundred people a month, you this one service is good if it gets one person a month. You know what that is? That's an opportunity. So you look for opportunities in areas where you can make more money. Now, like I said, I learned this work in retail. And I was in a position of management, right? And the thing they would say, like the managers over us, they would always say, all right, y'all not making money here. Like corporate, you know, corporate folks come in, y'all not making money here. Is there an opportunity? All right, so we might move stuff around or something to get more sales. That's the key. So, okay, say you have a service that's not doing well. So you look back at it and say, okay, we're we doing very well in these other things. we getting hundreds of hundreds of uh, paid clients a month. All right, but this one only gets one. All right, that's an opportunity. That's an opportunity because then would you, in, in order to take advantage of it, you think in terms of, okay, what can we do? Why don't we start promoting this? Why don't we, okay, like one way, using that spa example, okay, you got the people already coming in for the massages and the facials, but you could say to them, hey, you know, Oh, that was a great, hey, you know what, you need to check out this uh, other service we have. Or, you know, depending on what that particular service is, they'll say, yeah, we, we got a uh, great service here. You don't have to say, y'all usually don't get anybody taking it up. But you can say, let's promote that. Or if you have a certain product, I'll use an example, books, books. See, one of the things, let me, as an aside, one of the things I like to do is tell y'all real world stuff that I experienced and what I learned. Now, okay, I got books, right? And I had a book stand one time. One of the things I learned, I was like, okay, all these other books are selling. But, okay, say I got 10, 10 titles. Really had more than that, but we'll use the number 10. All right, eight of them are doing well. But you got these two, people ain't really picking it up. So I'll say, okay, that's an opportunity right there. So what's the basic thing I do? I move it around a bit. I might feature it up front. Indeed, one of the things at the book place, I've never, and I had several, I've had several hundred books come through there. I never had a situation where I didn't have a book that didn't sell. Let me say again, never had a situation. Because when the books that didn't sell didn't move, I would move it. I would take the opportunity. Like, I, I would move it, shift it up front. Or somebody's coming through, and I might say, oh, yeah, I got this other book here. That's an opportunity. Always think about that. You're always thinking, okay, how can I get these sales up? What can I do? What's not moving? Okay, do I need to uh, merchandise it in a different way? And like I got tons of experience just selling my own books or my own products with, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, different, different vending events. So I would always take note of which books were they paying attention to the most. And, of course, definitely promote them, but then the ones that the least, I might, you know, I might say, oh, yeah, I got this other book here. Or I might, like, literally during the event just shift the book around a bit, make it look a certain way. And, you know, I need to do some on uh, merchandising because that's very important if you're into, like, selling products retail-wise. But 
You always look for opportunities. Or if it's a service that you offer, here's a way you can do it. Okay, like you have multiple services, but people only take one of them. It's the same thing with a spa, but like say it's a service, you're a plumber or a painter or something like this, and you have some other stuff. You can always do that great job with the great service, but then say, well, you know, we also do this, this, and this. You know, you talk to the uh, client, and especially if they like the pay job, you say, oh, yeah, well, we can do this if you need it. Or if you don't, if you know somebody who needs this, boom. All of a sudden, they know somebody. They might know a couple people who need that very service. Boom. See, you always got to think because you always want everything to sell well. Now, regardless of what you do, regardless, there's still going to be something that sells better than others. And I'll just say this. When you have that one product that sells extremely well or the service that goes extremely well, Oh, you don't want to like disappear. You don't want to let it go. You still main whatever you're doing to maintain that. Um, you keep going. It, indeed, you want to just tweak that operation <laughs> and make sure it does even better. You want that, but then you want to bring the other stuff up because, see, in retail, one of one of the issues in retail is a big issue. Or service, well, with services, if you don't get any sales, you just don't do it. But if you have products or something, you either A, sometimes you might be in a position to return the product, or B, you might be stuck with it, then you you got some stuff in the warehouse that isn't going. There's a lot of products out there that people just haven't bought. But then, you, did you take the opportunity? Did you move it around? Did you talk it up? You know? Or did you even go to what many companies ultimately do, make it real cheap? That's still an opportunity. Because let me say something about that real quick. When you get a product real cheap, people might say, oh, they lose their money. No, you're not, because you probably got it at dirt cheap anyway. Understand that about retail. I don't care what you see in there. I don't care what they sell it for. They're making a profit. They are making a profit. And even if it gets down to the point that they can't, they still can't move it, well, that's why you got those discount stores, but that's retail. And when you're talking about a service, like I said, you just got to figure out a way to get people interested in it. That's an opportunity. Like you always look at something. Like I'll use an example right here on YouTube. Um, ironically, it vexes me a little bit, but this channel is the least viewed channel. But all of a sudden, what did y'all see? Y'all seeing what? More videos on here instead of two a week, three a week. And I talk it up a bit more, just a bit more on my other channel, you know? And I also got some ideas in mind about about this channel. So I'm looking for the opportunities to increase sales. So anyway, I want you to think about that with your business, whether you are selling a product, whether you're doing a service. Look at the stuff that's not doing as well and think, okay, that's an opportunity to make more money. So anyway... That's all I got for today. Let's go make that money.